We have seen that one of the main input devices for the FMGCs is the FCU. Good CLR requires you to verify all inputs with the appropriate output. In almost all cases, when you make an input on the FCU, you will check your action on the PFD in the area labeled the Flight Mode Enunciator, FMA, which is located at the top of the PFD. Let's look at the FMA in detail. First, note that the FMA is divided into five columns. Auto throttle operation. Autopilot flight director vertical. Autopilot flight director lateral. Approach Capability Autopilot Flight Director and Auto Thrust Engagement Status During approach and landing, the second and third columns are combined to display a single Autopilot Flight Director mode because of the commonality of the lateral and vertical elements. These modes are called Common Modes. Besides being divided into five vertical columns, the FMA can display three horizontal information lines in each column. Let's look at the first three columns. The first line displays the engaged modes for the flight guidance system. In this example, the auto thrust is engaged in the speed mode. Thrust will be automatically adjusted to maintain the target speed. The altitude, ALT, mode is engaged for the vertical mode. The flight directors and autopilot will provide guidance to maintain altitude. The heading, HDG, mode is engaged for the lateral mode. Aircraft heading is being controlled by the pilots. The color coding will be explained later when the concept of managed guidance and selected guidance is discussed. The second line shows armed modes for the flight guidance system. In the example shown, G slash S and LOC in blue indicates that glide slope and localizer capture modes are armed. The third line shows reminders or messages. In our example, check APPSEL advises us to check the selected approach. The logic of the lines in the last two columns is different from the first three. The fourth column provides information about the approach capability. The first two lines state that the autoflight system is capable of a Category 3 ILS approach in the fail active mode, meaning CAT 3B. The last line in the fourth column displays the minimums as selected by the pilots either an MDA or a DH with the appropriate minimums may be selected as required for the approach. Notice that the numerical value of the decision height is displayed in blue, while the rest of the information is displayed in white. Also, the aircraft must be in either the descent or approach phase for these values to appear. The fifth column displays the engagement status of the flight guidance system. Line 1 displays which autopilots are engaged. In this example, both 1 and 2 are engaged for an auto land. Line 2 displays flight director engaged status. In this example, both flight directors are engaged. The last line displays the auto throttle status. ATHR in blue means that the auto throttles are armed but not actually operating. ATHR in white means that the auto throttles are engaged and operating. A blank means that the auto throttle system is off. 
When any mode changes on the FMA, it is boxed in white for 10 seconds to draw the pilot's attention to this new status. In this example, the aircraft is intercepting the localizer. The glide slope is armed. It has not captured yet.